All right, today we're gonna show how to use a sub arc machine and how to run a bead. Um, this is the machine. First off, we'll go over some of the basic tools we'll need here. Um, we'll just need some MIG pliers, a chipping hammer, wire brush, maybe some vice grips or channel locks. We're gonna need a steel wheel ball, also a dust pan and a broom. We'll need some uh, screen also. We'll show you what, what we use these for in a little bit. Um, this is our power source right here. Um, this power source has an option for CV sub arc. That's what we want to be on with both those on remote. So everything's controlled over here on the, on the sub arc machine. Alright, so first off, one of the first things you want to do, we want to clip this wire off. We have a good clean wire to begin with. And before we brought this plate over here, we preheated this. You always want to uh, preheat first. So we're gonna line this plate up. Um, what we're gonna do now, we're, we're gonna put a steel wool ball on the end of this tip. It'll help it strike up better. Right now we just got to make sure this is going to run straight down the piece of metal here. Alright, so pretty good. Tap it over just a little bit. far here. Looks good to me. I say we're good about right there. Put the steel wool back on that. Okay, we're gonna put that back on it right there just to hold the flux up. Get everything out of the way here. All right, we're gonna come over here and look at our settings. We're about 10 on our wire feed speed, about 3.7, 3.8 on the current. Voltage is um, at eight. So we'll come back and look at the actual amperage and voltage while we're running. Um, so right now we're gonna turn the flux on. Let that build up for just a second. And now we're ready to go. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna press start. One nice thing about this process, you don't need a hood. It's all submerged under the flux. Come back over here, we can look at our volts. We're running about 400 amps and 30 volts. That's about right, that's what we want to be running at for right now. Okay, we're almost at the end of the joint here. We're going to press stop right about now. So we're gonna come up here, turn the flux off. Wait for a minute, let it cool down. You wanna let that flux just cool down a little bit before you chip it off there. We should have a really good looking bead. Should just come right off there.
should, but he didn't engage the trap. There we go. And there's the bead. Beautiful. All right, so one last thing. We can reuse this flux. What we're gonna do, this is where the screen comes in handy. We're gonna put the screen up in here. We're gonna sweep this flux up. Okay, and we're gonna pour it up back into this and it'll filter it through the screen. gets out any of the pieces of flux if they're in there you can see a couple and we can reuse that flux um, that's how you run a sub arc bead with sub arc